giving us your contact information. Yeah, sorry. Yes, John Grace, founder, president, Investors Advantage. The phone number is 805-495-2077. Our website is as simple as it sounds, yb 4 W-H-Y-B-E-P-O-O-R.com. Beautiful. And, and that phone number is a landline? Yeah. And, and I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, but we're registered representative with LPL Financial. Uh, landline, 805-495-2077. And that's a mobile or a landline? That's a landline, yes. Beautiful. Okay. So, John. Um, what's our discussion about today? Well, I'm going to call it, uh, you heard of Curb Your Enthusiasm? I'm going to say, check your assumptions, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and we want to look at it in a couple of ways. One, check your assumptions in terms of market loss. You might want to look to see what that was and open those statements. And then check your assumptions in terms of longevity. Let's talk about market loss. And we've got a, a great uh, chart here. Uh, I think you have access to it, Bob. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to go, well, I'm not going to do share documents. No, uh, you why can. don't you bring it up? Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, this is very interesting because, uh, you know, math is one of the few words Americans hate to lose. I think it's the only four letter word that we don't use math, right? Oh, I don't, I suck at it. Okay, stop it. But one of the things we do is we do it poorly, but we don't even try. But we imagine that we already know the answer to the question. So when we, it's simple. If you look at the losses on the left, and that's why I'm saying it would be good to look at 08, particularly 2000, 2022. What did your account do? The markets were off, I think about 20% for the S&P, about 30% for NASDAQ. How did you do? Please go look to see how you did. On the left, you can choose your poison in terms of the losses. And on the right, it already provides the answer, the correct answer, to what kind of gains you need to get back to even in the next 12 months. So if we see that the index, one index was off 20%, we can see that the gain is not too difficult, 25%. But when we get down to the 30s, well, let's say NASDAQ, you had your, all your money in NASDAQ, oh my goodness, now you need nearly a 43% gain just to get back to even. And this is assuming, and this is important, you didn't take any money out. Now, the logic for most of us, Bob, is if we're down 50%, I know you like numbers, you're not afraid of them. Our logic tells us that I only need 50% to get back to even. Well, if you have 100 bucks, you're down 50 bucks, you got 50 bucks, is 50 cents enough? No, you're still half there. You only got 25 cents after you're back 50. So you need 100%. You, you had a dollar, you had whatever it was, 10 bucks. Now you got five bucks to get back to 10 bucks or 100 bucks. You need 100% of where that 50% loss left you. If we get to a loss of 60%, guess what? Now it's a 150% gain that we need to get back to even. So we're saying, check your assumptions, check your statements, see how bad the loss was, look at it in real time, and then check again to see what this does in terms of your odds of having the amount of money from which you might be taking withdrawals, how good are your odds, particularly after these losses, of having the same kind of income through age 100. Now let's talk about that a little bit because all of us imagine that we're all gonna to live to be 100. And I think there's a lady in Spain who's at 115. Um, and we look at our family, we go, oh, they're 90, they're, yeah, I, I've got longevity on my side. But let's look back a bit closer because if we take the numbers from the US Census Bureau, we see longevity for Americans is around 76 and a half. Really? Yeah, UK, Canada, Japan, all north of 80. Ours have been coming backwards. So we want to make sure that we do everything we can to live to be 100, but we also want to make sure that our wealth lasts as long as we're here, Bob, because, you know, at that point, uh, we're not pretty enough to even be a, a walnut a greeter, <laughs> assuming we're we're qualified enough to be a Walmart greeter. So that's you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop the, uh, the share. Okay. And yeah. we get to simply get back to... Um, Conversation? Yeah, back to conversation. So let's... yeah, your mother in law is what ninety eight. Yeah, mine is ninety six. So God bless us. Uh, my parents checked out at ninety. So I'll take any one of those numbers. But we want the money to last as long as we do. We're going to assume that we're going to live to be a hundred, and but we want to live well at the same level. And just look at it this way: we have one couple. They've done very well for themselves. Both of them sold. You know, you look at an example. Uh, 
that uh, say a client and his wife or the wife and the husband both sold businesses for two and a half million dollars. That's five million dollars. And the way they like to roll is on two hundred thousand dollars a year. Yay for them. All right. Two hundred thousand. I think most of us would be pretty satisfied with that. But here's the deal. If we didn't look at our account and wake up and say, gee whiz, what was five million dollars at the beginning of, let's say, 2008 ended uh, around March of 2009. 50% off, so 5 million is now 2.5 million. 4% withdrawal on 5 million is just 200,000. If we still need the $200,000, Bob, what do we need that yield to do after the account's been cut in half? It's got to double. We've got to take the yield from a reasonable 4% to an 8% withdrawal rate to have the same kind of spending power. And heaven forbid, suppose the next year, has another loss, or there isn't a gain. So you, what do they say, Bob, when you're in a ditch, stop digging. <laughs> and what we're saying is we don't want people, here comes Super Bowl, to have to have a Hail Mary pass just to get back in the game. It might make sense to get a second opinion and look to see how you can limit your losses, look to see how you can extend your odds of getting to 100 and having the same kind of cash flow coming in as you have at the beginning of your retirement period. So what's the key to this? I'll tell you what the key is. Okay. Sit down with an intelligent invested investment advisor. John Grace is the guy. And the knowledge base, I think he, excuse me, he expresses is real. And that's where we got to go with this thing. So um, that's our key. Happy to afford people getting a second opinion. Just check uh, to see what we might be able to help you see what you need to do so that you can uh, avoid getting kicked in the assets and let the market do whatever the market does, but you can keep uh, you know, singing your songs and living like the way you wanna live, let the markets do whatever they do. You know, uh, from my perspective, it's even more important now than ever. Uh, we've lived through several recessions and some pretty severe ones, but it's having this knowledge base that always helps you and talking. Okay talking, listening, learning, opening the statements, and even look back at 2008. What did the account do then? Can you yep. afford to have that occurrence? Was it off 50%? Was it yep. off 40%? What was it off? But can you, maybe that's when you were working, so you're still putting money in. Hallelujah. If you're taking there withdrawals, you ah, a different story. So we there need to address, as you say, you know, what's the situation now? And right now, what did we just see? It was the worst year in more than a decade for 2022 for both stocks and bonds. And yep. in 2023 so far, what are we going? What are we experiencing right now? Could it be a bear market rally? You know, a head fake. You think it's safe to get in, and it's off to the races to see how low we can go. Uh, Kramer, Jim Kramer said this is a buying opportunity. Michael uh, Barry, you know, uh, the big short said sell. That was his one word twi Twitter message: sell. I don't know who's right, but as I say, <laughs> let's figure out who's ready because we want to be ready to tell the story and weather the storms. Deal with somebody that's got some education and knowledge base in their field. So that's that's it. So, John, give us your your uh, contact information all over again, please. Sure thing. Happy to help you kick the tires. Get a second opinion. Investors Advantage Corp. Uh, 805-495-2077. YB4 is our website. Delighted to see what we can do by putting our heads together. Very good. And, and again, my name is Bob Holt, H-O-L-T. Last name Friedenthal, F R I E D E N T H A L. I'm a link. I call myself a LinkedIn junkie. I've been on LinkedIn for like 16 years. I got started in the internet. There was only 30 million people in the world on the internet, and I knew I this is where I wanted to be. LinkedIn is the place. There's no question about that. So, um, if you would like to have an interview uh, done by me, I'd love to talk to you. My phone number 310-736-5787. And my email address is bob at mycity.com. So thank you so much, all. I'm going to be signing us off. Nice Thanks, interview. Bob. Thanks, John.